What is going on everybody? Cool 200 here and today we have two very important and very special Casey Kane diecast from 2018. I'm getting down to the last 2018 diecast uh, reviews and then we will be doing the 2017 diecast reviews and then we're going to go down all the way to probably the 1990s to where I have some really older or some really old uh, diecast that I want to review for you guys but we gotta get the 2017s out of the way along with the rest of the 2018s I will be also reviewing some haulers which I have not done um, maybe in since a year maybe two I think it's been a year but anyways let's go ahead and jump right into this we have the color chrome and we have the elite we'll do the elite first like I usually do so here it is. I've kind of recently reviewed Case Kane's Procore car, but this is the 124 edition, so let's go ahead and do it. Starting with the front, just a black roof that says Procore with this little, like, I don't know, smiley face thing on it. No idea what you call it. And then you got like this line going there with white on the very bottom and black splitter here you have some orange stuff and some black coming down here with a skinny orange line white triangle white here black number obviously pro core now I, I do like this white that kind of gets cut by this black it comes down very nice here you have pro core on the roof with of course your opening roof flaps Procore on the deck lid that is black along with this opening and Procore on the back here is your other side the wheels do turn quite nicely suspension all the good stuff very nice looking die cast we will set that over here and we will go ahead and take a look at the color chrome. This is not an elite color chrome. This is just your standard color chrome. Everything is pretty much the same. But the white has been turned into this glossy kind of a silver. This is how they do white. Because there's really no white color chrome. So, um, well I guess this is the white color chrome. <laughs> so, there it is. It really makes the white outlining in the number pop out a lot. But as you can see... It is not an elite. It's just your standard finish. Obviously, the roof flaps do deploy, which is quite nice. But all in all, very nice die cast. I did not show you the inside of the hood. Uh, it's the same for both die casts. I'm just going to do it with this one. Oh, you, you guys really have to dig your nails into the die cast to get it. I hope I didn't ruin the paint. But anyways, it's just the Chevy logo. I know it's hard to see. But it is just the Chevy logo. You know what? If I had my phone on me, I'd shine a light on it so you guys can see better in there. I think I'm going to start doing that. But yeah. But there are the die cast. Nice, simple um, review, I will say. Um, I try and make these as simple as possible now. And with the new iPad, it is definitely helping me out a ton. So anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed. Please like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links down in the description. And I'll see you guys in probably the final 2018 diecast review video. Until maybe the next wave or the next set of cars come. So, yeah. Uh, no, we still have the haulers. I just looked at my Almirola hauler and I'm like, wait, we still have the haulers. So we'll have another, the last 124 scale review, and then we'll do the haulers. Then we'll go to the 2017s, um, where there will be like three videos for those. I won't do the 2017 haulers. And then we'll have from the 90s all the way back to 2000 and... 16 maybe I don't remember but anyways guys 
thank you all so much for watching. I know this was a short video, but hey, it's quite alright. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to leave you off there. Peace out.